Hey, this is Karen Ornstein in Bangkok for UN United Nations Climate Negotiations, standing here on the third to last day of two weeks of climate talks as we go down the road to Copenhagen. And as far as where the, the talks are at now and how things are looking for the conclusion of this session on Friday, there's really no progress. Uh, developed countries are not are not coming up with financial commitments. You know, there's they need something like 500 to 600 billion dollars a year for developing countries for both uh, reducing greenhouse gas emissions and ad adapt adaptation funds. And there's actually not numbers being put on the tables. The U.S. hasn't said how much quantified they will give uh, in, in the near term or the long term for developing countries. Uh, the targets on the table are incredibly unambitious. They're talking about a maximum of 18% below 1990 levels by 2020, when the science says we need at least 40%, and developing countries, particularly the Alliance of Small Island States and least developed countries, are saying we need at least 45% reductions below 1990 levels by 2020 to keep us in a world that is at <laughs> to keep us in a world that is below 1.5 degrees Celsius temperature rise. So it's hard to be optimistic, but we're trying to be hopeful that at some point the U.S. will acknowledge its climate debt and that the developed countries, all of them, will acknowledge the climate debt to the developing countries and actually take this seriously and go forward in a spirit of, serious, a spirit of cooperation and not competition, which is clearly what it is here. It's a race to the bottom under the leadership, actually, of the United States, as opposed to a race to the top. And we need to see here a spirit of cooperation that we're all in this together and that it doesn't actually help our cause, anyone's cause, to look at this as a chip of one thing to the other.